haul it a flight with an added boom. A refueling boom, that is. The 767-2C test aircraft for the KC-46 tanker program recently achieved a key milestone. A first flight with the wing aerial refueling pods, or warps, and a refueling boom on the airplane. This is a first look from a chase plane at that recent flight test. Engineers and pilots were looking for any potential changes in the 767's performance with the refueling hardware attached. Throughout the whole flight, we had a perfectly smooth airplane and we really couldn't tell any difference between the airplane with and without the boom and warps. The 767 tanker prototype has the KC-46 look, but the boom and warps were not functional for this round of test flights. But that's all about the change. This 767, destined to become the first militarized KC-46A Pegasus test plane, has the paint, Air Force moniker, and fully functional advanced refueling boom. And then once it was time to install it, we had lots of excitement rallying around it because that is the, the most identifiable part to make it a tanker. The assembly team meticulously aligned and carefully attached every wire, bolt, and screw by hand. In the end, they installed a boom capable of offloading 1,200 gallons of fuel in a minute. That's more fuel than the average car uses in a year. Up next is the installation of operating warps. The wing pods and boom will allow the future KC-46A to pull double duty. Every single KC-46, all 179, will be able to do what we call multi-point refueling to uh, refuel two aircraft at a time, and it gives incredible flexibility on the battlefield. Tanking is its primary mission, but it's got quite a bit other capability that we're going to leverage in the United States Air Force. Capabilities like moving passengers and heavy cargo and aeromedical evacuation. So it's really a very well-rounded tanker, if you will. The first flight of the fully outfitted test plane is slated to fly later this summer.